I don't worry. I tell you, I'm a man who believed that I died 20 years ago. And I live like a man who is dead already. I have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything. Of anybody or anything. Anybody or anything. Alright, before I start this video, you know, it's your boy, BZ995, WCE Radio. Um, we have a lot of stupidity people that's in, I don't know, somewhat power. You know, they, you know, they give us positions to, you know, make fools of ourselves. You know, that'd be that random phone call to be like, Oh, you can get paid forty thousand dollars, you know, per month if you do this, right? And what we do sometimes we jump for is the dollar bill, right? The dollar signs they count, whatever like that. You know, go get a bag and all the rest of this stupidity crap, right? I'm gonna talk about this individual, Candace Owen. I'm gonna let you see this video of Mr. Leo, which is from China that you know, pretty much made her swallow her own words. So, let's get to it. Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well. Okay, fine. I don't know Miss Owens. I'm not going to characterize her. I'm going to let her own words do the talking. So I'm going to play for you the first 30 seconds of a statement she made about Adolf Hitler. I, I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets, uh, the definition gets poisoned um, by uh, leaders that actually want globalism. Globalism is what I, what I don't want. So when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in, at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside. Of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German. All right, so my uh, first question is to Ms. Hershenoff. Ms. Owen said, quote, if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. So when people try to legitimize Adolf Hitler, does that feed into white nationalist ideology? It does, Mr. Liu. I know that uh, Ms. Owens distanced herself from those comments later, but we expressed great concern over the original comments. trying to present as if I was launching a defense of Hitler in Germany when in fact the question that was asked of me was pertaining to whether or not I believed that Hitler was a whether I, or not I believed in nationalism and that nationalism was bad and what I responded to was that I do not believe that we should be characterizing Hitler as a nationalist he was a homicidal psychopathic maniac that killed his own people a nationalist would not kill their own people be clear. The hearing today is not about white nationalism or hate crimes. It's about fear-mongering, power, and control. It's a preview of a Democrat 2020 election strategy, same as the Democrat 2016 election strategy. All right, look. Candace Owens gets, and this is documented if you research her name, um, she gets, she, her contract under being a communicator her payment is forty thousand a month. Now, forty thousand dollars a month. That seems like more of a, a sellout, pro se deal. You know, that's something between the government and her. Now, how she got that position, 
Nobody ever know. When did she get it? I don't nobody know. Trust me. And her calculations of the yearly yearly income is seventy nine point four million dollars. She is receiving payments to attack the black community, but act like pretend, put on a costume that she's understanding what it is. But no, let me tell you something. When this lady shows up to summits like Atlanta Summit, for a good example, it was all about police brutality. What did she say? The first thing that came out of her mouth, and I know if it pissed off T.I., it pissed off everybody else, and it did too in the crowd also. But they didn't want a rally or a fight or a violation or anything happening to her. So, you know, Killer Mike stepped in in the middle of it by being a real man and letting her, making everybody chill out. But what I don't understand is this right here. If you got this job and I seen your first interview when you first received your position or whatever like that, you everybody was happy for you. <clears throat> All the black activists that was present, that was you know, old presence, such as Jesse Jackson, everybody was like, you know, proud that we had, you know, African-American woman is somewhere in the need of being around and giving us some quite understanding. But your speech in the beginning, you pretty much stated that, you know, you was there for us. You kept saying us, but I don't understand us. The way I look at it is like this right here. You violated our own rights coming out of your mouth by even mentioning Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was a German. He tried to destroy countries. He destroyed countries. You understand that? He wiped out half of a race or a population just to target certain people. You understand? So it's like you sound retarded. And Adolf Hitler went through Africa to be able to get through these other countries that he was pretty much taking over. You understand me? So it was like, what I look at is like this right here. Adolf Hitler was a war hero in Germany. So if you went through Africa when it was only land and people that made shelter for themselves then, and then when he died, 15 years later, it became different war heroes out of, out of South Africa. Nigeria and all these places that he went through. So therefore, he taught them how to be war heroes. What you're trying to maintain and be is you're not who you said you was in the beginning. You're trying to, you're getting paid to either destroy the African community, the Hispanic community, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, anybody else that's not American made by per se. So, therefore, you can never in your life, actually, if everything's failed for you in the next 20 years, you can never be walking back. You're done. You finished yourself by opening up your mouth. And I'm so glad Leo spoke the way he did and recorded your stupidity. Because that audio... You can't, you can't, you can't erase that. And the way your face looked in that room, I'm so glad it hit the ground so goddamn hard. Cause I cannot stand individuals like you, and there's so many individuals like you that's walking around this world. Every race have one. Every race has been the scum of this earth. Supposedly, has a person like you in their community that you're constantly destroying. By opening up your mouth saying anything. That summit that was with Killer Mike, T.I., and a few other activists around was about police brutality. You've been again, then again, you made fun of us. Schools are closed. So let me ask you a real question. Who really cares about an educational right when we're dealing with a pandemic right now? We still is. You came on there and you made fun of us. You made fun of us. And then again, I will say, when I did the Hispanic Families Reunited, I did not mention no 
bar your marks or any red errors in their sections. Everybody got problems. Everybody have a problem with learning. Everybody have a problem with reading. You know, and everybody can read good. Somebody can teach others. But you know what, know what though? When you want to blend in with individuals that never accepted us in this country ever since we was born, that's when we start to have a problem with you. Because you lost yourself. That's all I have to say. You only host BZ995 WCE Radio. Peace. I don't worry. I tell you, I'm a man who believed that I died 20 years ago. And I live like a man who is dead already. I have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything. Of anybody or anything. 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 Anybody or anything.